I, I oh. didn't know the nigga existed. You feel gotcha. me? You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel me? And, and um, he was trying to hook up with us or whatever. Um, it was another sack rapper retro um, that we was fucking with, and like, um, he was hating on. He was hating on retro. That's what brought me wrong. You feel me? He was hating on retro. At me, you feel me? After we talked about the little baby mama. I'm like stirring up old shit, right? But this is a new interview with Shady Nate. And he was saying CML was hating on Lil Retro, and that's how all this live wire shit would happen. And he was trying to be on live wire. See, a lot of y'all probably forgot or just don't know of Lil Retro. And that's Lil Durrell. You feel me? That's it's retro, retro, Lil Durrell. Busting down grams on my digital scale. Post some money order for my niggas in jail. No, I'm just rapping about it because the shit is for real. Like, he a kin of Mozzie. He used to rap with Mozzie when he was Lil' Tim. That song was called Splurge. Lil' Tim, E Mozzie on that song. You feel me? What 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 tape was that? Uh, Timmy the Two Man or something. One of the motherfuckers. That nigga had all kind of big tapes selling that shit for a dollar. Lil' Tim back then, nigga. But... That's uh, that's like crazy. You feel me? That he was saying he hated him. I mean, it ain't really crazy, but that was his take that he got out of it. And, you know, and around that time, Shady Nate was fucking with Live Baby Mama or whatever. So it could be that too, you know, or whatever. But like he said, he wasn't pimping, so he. You know, I don't know, man. It's, it's all over the place. It always happens behind a bitch, you know, allegedly. But I, I remember around that time, like, I see Lab in Art Mall. I had a hat on. It said Lil' Rich, you feel me? And he was like, I say Filthy Rich? He probably don't remember this, but this really happened. You feel me? I'm like, nah. And we start chopping it up. He start talking about the live wire niggas and shit. Like, yeah, cause uh, them niggas be coming out here thinking they finna shit and boo 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 and da, da 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 da. You know. So he was giving me like his take on like how he felt about it. But that's just what it was. You know, they had the music scene and they were sliding through sack. You know, raking the bag up and you know fucking all the bitches. Them niggas was popping. They had the music. They had all the shit going on. But around that time, niggas didn't know. Well, niggas, we didn't know, you feel me, on this side that, you know, he was fucking with his baby mama or whatever. But I remember, like, an old video, because Lav used to post hella videos and shit back then, like vlogs and all that shit way back then, 10 years ago, 10 plus, you feel me, at this point. But he used to be around Lil Retro and shit. And Retro was popping, like, he had his shit going on. He was fucking with the live wire and shit, and he, Know, he was on stage, like, yeah, you feel me? Laugh my nigga, whoa, whoa, whoa. But I'm fucking with this live wire shit. You feel me? So it could be that. It could be anything, you know, but it, it, it was it's basically over a bitch. Like, how all that shit happened because them niggas didn't know each other. Like, he said he never even met the nigga, never heard of him or whatever he say. But, you know, Lab was doing hella, like, comedy shit back then, little uh, skits and all type of shit. So it could have been, like, some publicity stunt to get his name out there because his name was did start ringing even more like as far as music uh when he started getting into it with the live wire niggas because i remember i used to be in a pen and hell of shit niggas first and all kind of shit niggas knew of live and then shit behind the 50 rich shit you feel me and he was making hella songs and all that shit them niggas had diss songs all kind of shit got stirred up behind that shit but Go check out Lil Durrell, man. I gotta do a story on that on that guy. I don't know where the fuck he been, where he at, what he doing, but he used to make songs with Tim, man. Them niggas folks. You feel me? And he from the Heights, he from the El Paso Heights, North Area, period, whatever. But yeah, man. It's like what I was doing.